Okay, so we are at Edinburgh Apiary and we are going to be running a nucleus creation workshop today and the system we'll be using is the circle method where we put a circle of nukes around a very strong colony and we dismantle that strong colony to make up all the nukes and uh, each nuke will get a frame of food, two frames of brood and a frame of pollen and they will each be queened with a queen cell that's just about to emerge, a ripe queen cell. So we have a very strong colony in the centre and that colony we de-queened yesterday just so that we wouldn't waste time today trying to find the queen. That, the queen from that colony can't be used in any of the nuclei because if we did do that, the bees would just all follow her into that nucleus. So we have to take the original queen from a strong colony away. We put her in a mini nuke and took her out of the apiary. Uh, okay, so Jim has uh, opened up the hive that we're going to dismantle and he's describing what is in that hive and telling the groups. We have split everybody into a group responsible for one nucleus each. So he's describing to them what is in the strong colony and how they can get a frame of food and a frame of uh, pollen and uh, frames with plenty bees on them. So now the groups are going to go into the hives and they are looking to get the frames that they need to populate their nucleus box. The nucleus boxes are of course spread in a circle around the main frame main hive. The distance between the nuclei is about two and a half meters from entrance to entrance. The entrances are facing inwards towards the double deep colony that we're dismantling. Everybody trying to equip their nucleus box with as nicely a balanced population as possible. The flying bees are beginning to kind of circulate and what will happen eventually when the double brood box is removed from a center, the flying bees will go and seek entrance to the nukes and they tend to fairly evenly distribute themselves over the five nukes. Okay, so now what we've got, we've got the five nucleus boxes. They've all been populated. The twin box, double deep hive has been dismantled and most of the bees are now in the polynukes. And so the polynukes are now started to orientate. I see bees coming out. Okay, so now that we've got all the nucleus boxes populated, the next step is they all need queening. So we are going to queen them with a ripe queen cell. Uh, the queen and nucleus assembly team in the apiary have prepared some queen cells using a cup kit system and they are now going to open up the rearer colony and take out the ripe queen cells which are within a day or so of emerging. This is the cell raiser hive and so this is where the queen cell cups were put in. It's a very strong hive, lots of young bees, uh, nice uh, prosperous hive and that is the hive that has been raising the queen cells. The queen cells were harvested in cup kits from the mother hive, which is this one next door. So that's, this is a nice queen that we want to breed from. And so we trapped the mother queen in a cup kit grid 
gotta to lay eggs in the little plastic cups and then these cups were transferred to their holders after they had hatched. So when the larva was 12, 15 hours old, they were transferred to the holder bars in this rearer hive. Okay, and this is a so we're now carefully oh, well, taking out job. the <laughs> cells. As you'll notice, each queen cell is protected with a queen cage. These were put on two days ago, just in case there was an early emergence of a queen, in which case she would have went round and killed all the other queens in their cells. Queen cell. Or oh, you just want the queen cell. The queen cell, yeah. So we're now taking the cages off with a little bit of care. So the queen cell is attached to the plastic Who's cup. The and right. here it is, and here's the queen cell there you appears. Go. Pick it up and don't so drop it. <laughs> right. Okay. That's my lot. Number one okay. is a way to their nucleus hive to insert it. That will be put into the hive between the two frames of brood. So we find the frames with the brood and ideally if there's two frames of brood we put the queen cell between the faces of brood because when the queen emerges that's where they would expect her to be. So we're taking away the sheet now, just in case there's any smell of the old hive, it would attract the flyers, but they're not interested in that area now. They've, they've decided that uh, their original home is well and truly gone and they're re redistributing themselves around the four nuclei we've ended up with here.